obviously as the greens get faster, the grain kind of dissipates a little mm -hmm. bit. But when the greens are a little slower and you're having trouble at home and you have that putt, that, when that one was fast or that one was slow, you got to look at the, for me, you look at the shininess. If it's shiny going down grain, obviously it's down grain. If you look, it's kind of dull, it's into the grain. And then if you look at the hole, the way they cut the hole, a lot of times, because the grass lays one way, they'll cut the hole and one side of the hole will be dead. Mm -hmm. And that means that the grain's running towards the dead part of the hole. So if you go up sometimes, you see a lot of pros go up, you'll see them go look at the hole. They're looking to see which side of the hole is dead. Mm -hmm. And that's telling them whether the grain is going a certain way. And then they'll maybe play a little bit extra break according to that. Charlie, as far as uh, people who are excited, it's the time of the year where the temperatures are a little bit cooler, which makes it more pleasant to play the game, but also the idea that the superintendents can be a little bit more aggressive. There's not as much stress being put on all different strains of grass. Technique. Amateurs love fast greens. They want to tell their friends, oh, the greens at my club are rolling 13 and a half. You know what? You, sometimes you see it. You play in all these pro-ams, Chris. And you see these amateurs on fast greens, they go really slow back, and then they get to impact, and they stop. Right. Yeah, and you know, it's the exact opposite for us when we come home. When I come home and play, I'm on fast greens all the time. So my stroke actually is kind of nice and smooth. And then I get at home, because I have to hit it, I get jabby a little bit, because I know I can't get it there with that smooth stroke. Well, the, for an amateur, I would say that you take it back a little slower, and you just accelerate through. I think you got to accelerate through. Putting is all acceleration. If you decel, you're, you're no good. You, you, you got to be smooth. You, you have to have exactly right. You got to have that acceleration, but it's got to be the smooth good transition. acceleration. And, and I'll tell you one more thing. You talked about the grain a little bit. Having, having a basic understanding uh, of, of some principles of golf course architecture will help you read greens a little bit. You got to know the type of golf course that you're playing on. When it was built, if you're playing a golf course that was built maybe pre-1950, that's a golf course that doesn't have uh, most of the time any subsurface drainage. So when you're playing a golf course like that, like East Lake, you, you got to look at the overall surrounding terrain. See which way water would drain on that golf course. Nine times out of ten, you, you're going to uh, be faced with a putt that's going to go down towards the low part of that golf course. In this case, actually, East Lake. If you're playing a more modern golf course, look for drainage holes around mm -hmm. the greens because on modern golf courses, the, 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 the subsurface drainage is there. They'll actually trick you a little bit. They'll have greens that are tilted away from lakes and if you can find where those drainage holes are, folks, generally they're two feet in diameter. They're not hard to find. Right. If you can find out where those drainage holes are on a modern golf course, treat that as like a golf ball magnet. Your golf yep. ball is going to go towards that drain hole even if a creek or a lake is to the other side of the green. Chris, have you also, do you believe in the idea that when you look at the green surface, whatever the type of grass it is, if you can picture a, a large amount of water going in whatever direction it would go and go off the green, do you subscribe to that at all? I do. I try to find like the, the, the flat spot in the green and then I try to find, find the straight putt to every putt and then I go from there and I just kind of work my way, way around. Um, I like to visualize a spot in front of my ball also that I can putt over to kind of read the break. Um, you know, reading, reading putts is very individual, and for me, it, it's kind of given with, with pros because we kind of feel it. We've done it for so mm -hmm. many times that I kind of get up on the green, I automatically know it's a right to left putt. Now I'm thinking speed. And I think speed is something that is so huge to reading putts, too. You could have the perfect line, and if you don't hit it, it's not going to go in. If you hit it too hard, it's not going to break enough. So speed is easily as important as, as the right read is. Give me some smooth over here. We want to smooth this stroke out. You, you're on a green that's really, really fast. You come from some slow greens. Your superintendent's cutting them down for the fall. Let, let's see a smooth yeah, I always try to, When I come home, I always try to take the putter back a little bit further. Just a little, a little further so that I, I have a nice transition through it. I fixed you. You fixed me. <laughs> but when I come home, a lot of times my problem is, is I'll get here like this, and I'll take it back slow, and I know I can't get it there, and I'll, and I'll, have to, and I'll jab it. Yeah. So for me, on, on slow greens, I try to take it back just a little bit further so I can have a nice transition through the ball. Do you, do you ever in your mind think, one, I, I, okay, I'm one, two, I need to be one, two. Do you ever have a count like that you in know, your mind? You know, I do, and, and if you look at most players, most really good putters, it doesn't matter if they have a three-footer or if they have a 40-footer. Their transition is almost the same. Now, on a longer putt, a shorter putt, they're going to take it back a little bit slower and a little bit like... On a longer putt, they're going to go back quicker and 
Almost the same, though. Is the idea of the rhythm, and you were talking about one-two or one-two, is that something that you're working on on the practice putting green, and then once you're out on the golf course, you've already instilled that into your mind, and then you're just focusing on reads and speed? I think that, for me, you do all that preparation on, on the practice green, and then when you get out there, you just get up and hit the putt. I mean, you hope that you can bring what's on the putting green to the golf course. That's the ultimate goal. Um, for me, I'm working on that. I do that drill where I, I try to make three footers, four footers, and mm -hmm. five footers. And then when I get out there, the three footers and four footers and five footers are just a drill. So I'm not thinking about that putt being that important. It's just another putt in my drill. And that's helped my long game because now if I feel better on those short putts, obviously I can hit the longer putts a little bit more aggressive. Re re real quick, are you one of the players, and it's been a while since we've played together, but I think I remember you doing this. When you take your practice strokes, are your eyes up, yeah. looking at the target? I, that's when you're developing the feel absolutely. and the rhythm that you need. If I have a putt outside 15 feet, the first putt I do is I look down and I keep my head down. The second one, I look kind of mid, midway through my line where I'm trying to start it, and I take that stroke. And then the last one, where I want to start it outside the left edge of the hole, I aim there and I take my stroke to get the feel for the speed. Mm. That's something that a lot of amateurs don't do. They always take their practice strokes with the head down. Yep. When yeah. you've got your head down taking practice strokes, you're analyzing the face angle, the path of your stroke. You're not thinking. Feel. I think even if you want to get that feel too, if you really want to feel feel, get on the putt green and practice and hit your putts looking at the hole. Don't even look at the ball. And that'll get you the feel of how hard you have to